How's it going, everyone? It's Tuesday, September 27th, and I'm out here for my first sit of the year on this farm. Um, my buddy Clayton put the hammer down on one of our big shooters at our other farm on Saturday. That was the first cold front of the year, so this cold front sticking around, and I got out here a little late today because I had an exam to do, so it's about 5 o'clock, so I still got little over two hours of daylight left so I kind of picked a stand that wasn't super intrusive because I've already seen deer moving in fields on the way here so um, didn't want to go back into a, closer to the bedding area so um, kind of picked a spot on the edge of this cornfield that's overlooking this soybean plot we have which has clover in the middle of it and then in our little corn, corn food plot here we have a little late season blend uh, planted in there too, so we'll see what happens. Um, crops are still standing, so these deer are kind of spread out still. So when the crops are harvested, it will kind of narrow it down. So keep our fingers crossed, and this will be just a good observation sit. So um, looking forward to it.
It's October 6th. Um, I'm out here for the third sit of the year. Um, it rained a little bit this afternoon, and now the cold front's moving in, and tomorrow's going to be really cold, so hopefully these deer will get up on their feet a little bit earlier in the day. Um, I'm out here tonight targeting a buck I call Turkey Foot. He just showed up on the cameras, but he's a really nice deer, so still hoping for some of the other ones from last year to show up, but uh, just going to try to get after him. How's it going everyone? It's October 7th and I'm out here tonight sitting over this clover plot. I'm in here after a buck we call turkey foot. There's also a really nice buck in here with the drop tine and he's got a crab claw coming off his base. And there's one more target buck that still hasn't shown up from last year and that's a really tall 10 pointer. It wraps in real close to the front so any of those bucks show up uh, get them on film I'll be shooting them so fingers crossed tonight cold fronts moving in and uh, they should be on their feet early tonight so stay tuned how's it going everyone just got out to the farm it's Sunday October 9th um, I was out here Thursday and Friday evening um, chasing after this buck we call turkey foot and I decided to not hunt yesterday which wouldn't you know it I got a tactam, tacticam notification around uh, 615 last or yesterday evening and he was daylighted right in the food plot like 30 yards from the stand so I'm in here tonight hoping he's gonna do the same thing and I just figured I'd do an interview before I get in the tree because I, I think he's betting pretty close so I don't want to be doing an interview um, while I'm trying to get my camera gear set up nice and quietly so um, stick with me and obviously if you're seeing this footage I got an arrow in them so fingers crossed let's go do this
Oh, rising tides, baby. I don't think I got him on film that great, but he's so close to me and I could see him, but from where my camera arm is, I, I just couldn't get him perfectly on camera. And I was struggling with low light here and it's, it's about 6.32 right now and he was coming down this little trail that would come right towards me and he wasn't too sure about it. Didn't see me, but he might have had a little bit of my wind. He came into this clover plot right on this edge of these buckthorn trees. Looks like I made a pretty good shot on him. Um, I saw blood pouring out, so um, it's a good sign, but I was so frustrated yesterday after he daylighted on that camera, just not sitting, just that one night, but um, unbelievable. I mean, I think he's down, so now I gotta call the fellows and we gotta celebrate. Let's go. Um. She's down, buddy. Yeah, she's dead. That rat is crazy. That is a goofy looking deer. This frame's funny, dude. Yeah. Look how sick this is, it's in line. And there's one here too. I didn't know that was there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a sweet deer, dude. Turkey. Oh, he broke something off here, hey? He might have had a turkey foot over there too. Yeah, he did for sure. Look at that thing. None of the pictures I had of him had that. That's a sweet deer, dude. Alright, guys, got him. He went about. 150 yards piled up in this cornfield. This buck showed up uh, last week on Monday, had nighttime pictures of him. And uh, Thursday and Friday of this week, I was out here trying to get him. And then Saturday, I took a break out here, and that's when he daylighted on that food plot in the back. So came in, came in here tonight trying to get him, and right at last light, there was about 10 minutes of legal shooting light left, and he he was coming down the trail right towards me and cut out into the food plot. and. The film wasn't great of him, but I got him running away and made a decent shot at him, and I'm just speechless.